Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with a book review for I'll Be Right There by Kyung Suk Shin. This is a South Korean historical fiction novel set against the political unrest of the 1980s. It recounts the lives of a young college student and her friends as their lives are affected by the social upheaval. I give this book three stars, and honestly, I wasn't originally planning to film a review for this book, because this book kind of had one major problem that made it a three star rating for me, and most of this review is just going to be talking about that. I struggled with a lot of this book, and for honestly the entire book right up until the author's note at the end, I thought my problem was that this was a South Korean novel. It's written by a South Korean writer for a South Korean audience. I am American, I don't know anything about South Korean history, I had no idea what the political unrest of the 1980s was, and honestly, I still don't. I thought that the fact that I couldn't follow along with what was happening at the time was because it was South Korean, and she didn't need to write about any of the specifics of the time period because it's something that her audience, who are also South Koreans, would already know. The same as if there was an American book about the Great Depression, they wouldn't need to explain what the Great Depression was or what it started because an American audience would already have a basic understanding of what the Great Depression was. So because I didn't know anything about the 1980s in South Korea, I was very lost for most of this book. And I was willing to forgive it for that, because if I'm just not the audience for something, then that's fine. However, once I got to the author's note, I realized that wasn't an accidental thing. She intentionally wrote this without discussing any of the politics specifically. She said that living under a dictatorship, protesting, violence against demonstrators, all of that wasn't just limited to South Korea, it was something that could and did happen anywhere, and she wanted to write this book in a way that it could be set anywhere. An exact quote from her in the author's note was, everything that happens in this novel could happen in any country and in any generation. And that's true, I do agree with that, and I understand what she was trying to do there. But it didn't work for me, because the setting influences the characters so much. These characters are protesters. They have lost friends. They have lost boyfriends. People are disappearing. People are being killed. And as a reader, I didn't understand why. Yes, I do understand that it is a dictatorship, but I have no idea what they're actually protesting. I learned more about the politics of the time from her two-page author's note than I did from the rest of this novel. It's really hard to get behind a character when I have no idea what they stand for. I know that they're protesting, but I have no idea what they're protesting. And that choice did not work for me, and that choice kind of ruined the entire book. In trying to make this a universal story that everyone could relate to, she kind of wrote a book that was almost unrelatable. If I can't get behind the characters and get behind their beliefs, it's really hard for me to relate to a book in any way. And I think especially for this, the characters were almost lacking in core beliefs to me. Yes, they believed in vaguely democracy, I think. I don't know if that was ever explicitly stated. But I didn't know what they were fighting. I didn't know what they were fighting for. I didn't know what they wanted the government to be like because I didn't know what the government was at the time. People would die or disappear and I would have no idea why. I didn't understand what was going on. In the author's note she did kind of explain how people were disappearing and why it was happening and what it kind of meant at the time. And that honestly made the story so much better for me because it made sense. I was like, okay, I have a context for these people and what's going on in their lives now, and now it's actually kind of interesting. And the characters just felt so flat because of that, I think. It could have been other things, I don't know, but that impacted my experience of reading the story so much that almost nothing else mattered. The characters kind of had these everyman archetypal qualities, and I don't know if that's because it was intentional in any way, or if it was just because the setting was so vague, and yet the setting kind of informed on everything. It influenced everything in this book, but it was kind of hard to read when you didn't know what the setting was. Like, it was obviously South Korea. There were many cultural things that were very obviously South Korean. It was just, when it came to the politics, there was nothing there. When it came to the protests, it was just that they were protesting. They were protesters. They were fighting for freedom. And I was like, freedom from what? Like, what is happening here? And that was kind of my entire thoughts on this book. Everything else just sort of 
fell away or wasn't important because there was no setting for me. There was no context for anything that the characters were doing. I understand what she was trying to do and I understand why she made that choice because she's right. It, that's not something that was limited to South Korea in the 1980s. But you can't take away from the fact that this book was about South Korea in the 1980s. I think if you have prior knowledge about South Korea at the time and you know anything about the politics or what was going on, you can kind of just use that information and read this book because then I think it would be so much better. But if you're like me and you just don't know anything, I really don't know that there would be much in this book for you because I was just so confused and lost the entire time. Nothing made sense. None of the characters' motivations made sense. And it was just all kind of happening in a vacuum, but life doesn't happen in a vacuum, so it really didn't work for me. The only other thing I can kind of comment on is the writing style, and at times I didn't get along very much with the writing style. It was kind of exposition heavy at points, and there were long pages of just dialogue as the characters were explaining their tragic backstories and explaining things that happened to them, which I didn't always necessarily enjoy. It was kind of a little dense and just a little annoying to read, but there was also a point in this book where I felt like I was really enjoying it and I was really invested in the characters and their lives. And I kind of wish that I had that setting and the context that she gave in the author's note, even that, that little bit of context. If I'd had that, the book itself would have been so much better for me. On the whole, it just felt like this book was outwardly descriptive, but hollow on the inside, and I didn't particularly enjoy it. Although, like I said, if you do have a greater understanding about what was happening in South Korea in the 1980s, I don't think you would have that problem because you would already have the context for this book. And for me, that was what it was lacking, was the context. I do have another one of Kyung Suk Shen's books on my shelf that I plan on reading. I'm not averse to reading it because I do think this book probably would have been a four-star read for me had I had any context for it whatsoever. But without the context, it was just kind of mediocre and easily forgettable. Let me know down below if you've read I'll Be Right There and what you thought of it if you have. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.